Now, if you don't have uh, Photoshop CS3 extended, the extended version, uh, the only difference is that the extended version, you can, uh, it has features for, for video edi edition and, and 3D edition. Uh, if you don't have that, the the way that you can export something from here from SketchUp to Photoshop is going to file export as a 2D graphic, and there you can save it as you like, maybe a PNG, TIF, JPEG, or BMP. Uh, I'm going to use JPEG, export it. If you're going to use this file for to create an icon for window, Windows Vista or Windows XP, make sure that you have the shadow in this position. It's on the specification for the icons on Windows Vista. Now we're going to Photoshop, going to open the file. I'm going to look for JPEGs. Here it is tutorial mock. Open it. And here it is. And if you want to make this uh, transparent, just double click on the layer. It's gonna pop up this window. It's gonna say if, how how you going to name it. I don't mind layer series okay now we're going to select the magic one here the tolerance um, maybe maybe 50 let check let check that okay that's good that's good shift and delete if you want to see if, if you make a good transparency just paint fill this layer create a new layer uh, in Photoshop is control shift alternate N on PC command control shift N in Macintosh if you want to fill this with the foreground this is two colors you you see this two square the two color foreground and background. If you want to paint, fill one layer with the foreground. Just hit uh, alternate delete. And it's gonna fill and you, and you, and you can see it's pretty pretty good. Uh, let's crop this. There's a lot of space that we don't need we cut it. That's the other way you can export an image from SketchUp or <laughs> it sounds like ketchup uh, from SketchUp to Photoshop. Well, happy creating. See you next month.